Well, do you have a title for these uh, shows? It's mainly the Clackamas, uh, Upper Clackamas River uh, works, and a uh, and few other pieces. I'm drawing them from my uh, drawing classes. It's charcoal, watercolor, and uh, well, this one is, yeah, charcoal and watercolor. Do you uh, do it from photographs or do you do it from... Uh for years, I painted everything on site, but if you looked at, you know, these are large drawings. 1999, I did a, a large mural for Clackamas uh, County. And so I went to Upper Clackamas River and took a lot of photographs. Century, I'm pre pretty much standing almost in the middle of the river shooting photographs sections at a time from front of me, a little bit further, a little bit further, turning right, turning left, and then eventually I put the images together. Watercolor and, and a little charcoal. This is the uh, image from my studio, looking down at my property, down below. Just a little charcoal and mainly watercolor. If you want to say something, just go ahead. I've, I've ran out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, these are my garbage paintings, and uh, this is still Upper Clackamas River. <coughs> these are your own garbage, right? These are my own garbage, and I have no garbage service, so anything that I could recycle, uh, I recycle. And the things that, essentially, you can't recycle that you have to throw in the garbage, uh, because I don't have a garbage service that I collect them and put in my, my paintings. What do you call this piece? <laughs> it's a jumbo veggie dog. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, my titles usually are in the painting, so I, f I can't remember now where it is anymore, really? but it should, it should be. in there somewhere. Yeah, right here, jumbo veggie dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the most uh, current, the last drawing that I did uh, about, about a month ago, and mm -hmm. so and also the photograph is probably the most current one. Uh, I went to the Upper Clackamas River, I, well, I don't know how many times, but many times anyway. You know, spent three, four hours running around, and then decided, you know, photograph not good enough, so I go up another day, mm -hmm. and I try to find a, a day that's actually uh, a nice day, but sometimes by the time you get there, it's a bit cloudy and, you know, your photograph become too dark. But, so you can really see that this side is in the shadow and this side is in, in light. Uh, but. Do you ever do anything smaller than this? You like to work large? <laughs> I, I like to work large because I, I actually like, you know, if you, if you don't know, <laughs> I like to make it large because I get a chance to move my body and be, you know, paint sloppy. But I, you know, sometimes I do standard 22 by 30 watercolors, or, but most of the time I, I don't work very small. Uh, you do it for exercise? Yes. Yeah. And this, uh, you had quite a bit of exercise on this picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lots of uh, uh, going back and forth. You know, I, I make mark and then come back and I have to stand and look at that thing and then decide if it's okay. And, you know, many times I have to make sure that things like this stand, recede, because it's really three-dimensional and it will come forward and I have to essentially blend this back into the background. Or even, even uh, this, this rock right here, but this is three-dimensional, to make this be part of this. <laughs> It, it gets tricky. So how do you get to the upper part of this painting, which doesn't look like this? Uh, do, you get, well, do you get on a ladder? Well, I have to get up on the ladder, and so for next six months or so, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, keep painting and on the upper fin part. finish the upper part. Um, so it's yeah, the process is going to be slower because uh, I have to go up and down. Uh -huh. uh, I'm probably going to get a, you know, 
up on the ladder, but um, probably going to work on a movable scaffold, maybe. Mm -hmm. Although the scaffold gets in the way, so I, you know, I actually like to work on the ladder more. This is the, the last one I was working on, and again, still is unfinished, but... When I was younger, I never showed the painting that was unfinished, but... <laughs> That I'm retired, I should have more time, but now, I don't know why, but I'm spending slower and slower and slower, so I can't get things done. But, you know, sometimes I think it's interesting to see the, the garbage still in the painting, mm -hmm. even though you can't see the garbage on the bottom too, but... Uh, Look at this painting, sir, it gives the viewer an idea of uh, the process that you go through. Uh, yes. <laughs> Right. So, okay, so you work on the uh, bottom part first and then uh, Why? A after you fill up the upper part, do you go back to the bottom? Uh, yes, uh, because, you, ha you know, I have to still, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you could already see that I actually uh, drew these lines for structure, you know, in the sky yeah. and then uh, be it the, the trunk of the trees. So I already have this drawn in and uh, so if once I start working on the upper part, I probably have to make some changes in the bottom too. Otherwise, you know, painting can't work. I did another painting for the uh, a mural for the airport, and the uh, uh, ceiling wasn't high enough for that. So then the top part got cut off. So I always wanted to do the the, the whole painting was uh, top of the tree, and. Uh, but when I started, I realized the canvas still wasn't high enough, so I had to add another foot on top. <laughs> so that's why the third uh, small section got added. But uh, see, I like doing things in the panels anyway, so I think it's okay. Uh -huh. And this is the only uh, acrylic painting in this whole show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so these are the uh, drawings I actually do with, did with my students in my uh, life drawing classes. And so... Now, uh, do you still teach? Part no, I, so, so obviously the drawings are, are not new. Uh -huh. So... And, and I often work on the floor, so I step into my drawing. Because usually students are standing with all the easels, the only room left in my class, because yeah. I usually have like 30 students, so then, you know, right in the front of the class, uh, there's a little room left, so I often draw on the floor. To get to the top of the drawing, I, I can't read, so I have to step on the, uh -huh. on the paper and... Why don't you go to the side, walk to the well, side? Well, then, then you, you, can't, <laughs> 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 you can't... You can't see the... You can't, you can't see a drawing then, so, you know, you have to still see the drawing. I guess these just have a finger marks instead. Because these two are drawn on the easels. Yeah, vertical. I don't usually yeah. make drawings to keep. <laughs> I make drawings just to make drawings, uh, and then end up keeping some of them. So these are some of the drawings I kept. Uh, if I kept all the drawings, I would have thousands of drawings. So I only have maybe only hundreds. <laughs> so what's going to happen next? I mean, uh, what's uh, uh, you going to be painting on those uh, unfinished? Yeah, I'll finish those two, and then I'm, I uh, I like to do uh, some uh, garbage painting. Do more of those. But uh, not maybe Clackamas Rivers. I might paint uh, things in my garden. Garden. Mm. Or make it more abstract, non-objective. Uh -huh. So. I have some ideas. Anything else? I already talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is oil painting. It's called No Garbage. No Garbage number five or something like that. <laughs> Just a river. It is a lot easier to paint without the garbage. And I can't paint a little quicker. Thank you, Bob.